Welcome to our show, Your Miracle Resource. I am so excited about today because I have the famous Joanna Perino. Now, let me share, I met her in college at the University of Akron. She's incredibly talented, but also so kind. She is a leader in this community and everyone she meets, she connects people. I love that. I love to spotlight people on Your Miracle Resource, our show, because these are people that we need in our world and we need to say thank you to them. Um, I told Joanna, you know, hey, I might want to do a show on WCTV. I was a little nervous about it. She believed in me. She supported me. She is an incredible friend. And I'm going to talk about her and brag on her. She's probably going to be mad at me, but that's okay. Because what she does for this community is amazing. She serves on board. She's a community leader. Even in our own neighborhood, she brings everyone together. She's just, she's an angel. So I want you to meet, and I know for WCTV viewers, you know her, but we're going to brag all over her today. So I didn't tell her that, but that's what we're going to do. And we're going to teach you how to do a WCTV show. Now, some of you might say, but I am not interested in doing that. Well, hang on. Let's talk with Joanna, and then we'll come back to me, and I'll tell you more about this secret that I found at WCTV. Joanna. Catherine. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> I love you. So you've been here how many years? 27 years. Okay, and if you were talking to someone who had never done a show before, what do you think are the most important things for them? Just to come up with an idea and come to us because we help them hash it all out. Really, we just need the idea. Excellent. Yes. So I want you to think as you're thinking about what's important to you as an audience. As some of you are watching us, some of you are on podcasts and you're saying, but I don't know what I would do for a show. I want you to think about it a little differently. For me, it was, I wanted the name of the show, Your Miracle Resource, to be open enough that if I wanted to talk about communication, which is a specialty in our company, if I wanted to talk about building a culture. But here's the unique thing. There are times I will have guests on. I've had a fashion designer on the show, all kinds of interesting people. And I talk about what is it, what is that gift that they bring or that talent they have. So, Joanna, somebody who makes an incredible lasagna, which I do. I know you're Italian, but I make a great lasagna. If I wanted to come on, bring my ingredients, bring a before and after, mm -hmm. someone could do that. We have someone, someone who does do wine. That. She's yes. fabulous. I haven't met her yet. You actually hit the nail on the head. She's it's, great. It's people bringing their passion to us, mm -hmm. their expertise. They may be a business owner. They may not be. They may just have a hobby that they like to do. Those make the best shows. We have two gentlemen that love polka music that have been doing a show oh, for 25 show. years. We have a local business owner that owns the paint studio in town. She does a, a instruction on how to paint. So it's their passions, it's their expertise, and those are the easiest shows to do because you already know your subject. So true. Mm -hmm. So having that passion and knowing what you want to talk about, um, for me, because Miracle Resources is a service-based business, I don't always have the visuals like Sherry who does the brush painting and, mm -hmm. and everybody else who has something to demo, and that's okay. I want you guys to think about TED Talks. If you were giving a TED Talk and you were giving the best advice to someone, it may be like we do a lot on communication, and we will have family members who write and say, I watch your show, and even though you were giving business strategies, I learned about a lot about how I should handle my relationships, how I should handle things in my family. What do I want to communicate as I get a new job? Mm -hmm. And sadly, right before the holidays, we always get a lot of these questions, and it's about how do they communicate during a time of grief. They've lost someone, and they're going into the holiday season. What do they want to communicate so that way they can get through the holidays in a new way? That comes up every year. And I just want to share with all of you, when you think about doing a show, yes, visuals are important. So make your pictures into JPEGs. Um, Joanna taught me how to do this. We use the MZR to convert them. And we have a chief creative officer, but sometimes I hate to bug her about that. So I do that. Have everything numbered. Um, Joanna also taught me one of the big things, we have a checklist for any guest and we say what time they need to be there and exactly what we're gonna cover. So a lot of you would say, do you always have a script? Like today, no script. I know what I wanna cover, I know the questions that I wanna ask. And you have the freedom to do that. You see, when you look at community television, you look at all of these people that I met the other night at the Clapper Awards, 
unbelievable. Everybody from Roger Polk and Paintball um, to, again, the Wadsworth Senior Foundation, amazing, mm -hmm. to the younger yoga taters. Yes. How cute. I do yoga right with now. them on WCTV. Mm -hmm. They're so amazing. They come into your home and teach you yoga. So why is it important for each of you to consider what you would do on WCTV? First, I want to invite you, anytime that I'm doing a taping, they can come, you can come and watch, and I can talk with you about it. Now, some of you have said to me, hey, but you're a speaker, and yes, I spoke all over the country. I've given a thousand speeches. I want to travel less, so I send my trainers to more of the speeches now, which is wonderful. I love being in my community, being here in Wadsworth. But I did get nervous. Mm -hmm. I think I told you, Joanna, when I first started the show, and again, giving over a thousand speeches to 5,000 people to, you know, small groups of 50. But the first four shows, I had a little twinge in my stomach. And I think it's because you're so worried it's live to, to tape. But the key is this, is this is natural. You can make a mistake. I've made mistakes. You can talk with somebody and bring up a new idea and go into a great conversation. Mm -hmm. We have total show time. What is our total show time? 27 minutes. And I don't think I've even used the whole 27. You, you probably haven't because you're doing podcasts and you want quick and concise. And But some people use the whole 27 minutes. We can even do an hour show, 57 minutes, if someone wants. But oh, we great. have more uh, time slots available if we do a 27 minute. So, so can I back up and just yes. tell people that WCTV is actually owned and operated by the city of Wadsworth. Mm -hmm. So this is a free service that's provided by the city of Wadsworth. We're all city employees and anyone that lives or works in Wadsworth can come in and use this facility and our resources and all the free training. We train them on everything to produce their own show. So we make it very simple. This year we're probably going to have our biggest year ever with our community members producing 2,000 programs. Wow. These are all volunteers like you. They're not polished mm -hmm. speakers like you. They're people that came to us with an idea and we facilitate, walk them through the whole process and they become television stars in Wadsworth. <laughs> and not only in Wadsworth because all of our programming is available online at watchwctv.com so anyone in the world can watch any of our programming. And I want to compliment you because what you and the team have built, it's just amazing. Again, when I won the award, and we're going to show the video in just a little bit, our clients are from across the country mm -hmm. and they see this and they say, how do you do it? Who produced it? How much did it cost? Mm -hmm. I'm so blessed. And again, that's because of you, because I knew you before I knew WCTV. <laughs> so as a Wadsworth resident, why urge you to come down, see what we do, talk with the staff? Because this is your voice, and when you think about your social media, showing some things on video, people see kind of who you really are instead of behind a post. Mm -hmm. They really kind of get to know you. The other part about it is, is you're sharing information with people. So I want, Joanna, if you could, if you could have any show, like anyone would come and do a show, what topic would you want to see? Maybe something that we don't have currently in the um, schedule. I, I think the ones that are about issues in our community are very Good. valuable. Good. Even if it's different viewpoints. I think our p political shows are very valuable when we do those. We do the candidates' nights. Um, gosh, there's just so many that you never know what's going to be a niche. You know, there's a little, little audience out there. Who would have thought there's going to be a little audience that loved polka music, and here we are sending it all over the United States, the show now. They're all over Northeast Ohio, North Dakota. I mean, it just, you never know what's going to take off. And again, all free, all of our services are free, and we are, uh, you know, we're not funded by tax dollars, we're funded by the franchise fee that people already pay on their cable bill. Mm -hmm. And Wadsworth is wonderful and has set that up that that franchise fee goes into an account that funds the studio. Oh, that's amazing. So, you know, some communities use it for parks or streets or, you know, whatever they want to use it for. So we are very, very grateful that the city of Wadsworth uses that to fund this studio. And our community members enjoy all this wonderful programming with people like you. And so, and wonderful job. I am so blessed because 
I live in Wadsworth, thank you Craig Miracle and Sandra Miracle, my mother-in-law who brought us to Wadsworth. Actually her mother, uh, Evelyn Schultz, the Schultz family brought us and then we stayed, the Miracles now, four generations in Wadsworth, wow. crazy. So because I'm a resident, I get this, but thinking about you as a viewer right now, when you look at your social media and you look at communicating an idea, let's learn from Joanna. Maybe there's an issue you want to know more about. Maybe you want to research it. Maybe you want to come and share it. Every piece of help, as Joanna said, is given right here. For example, when I come into the studio, my logos, everything is already set up. Um, I'm coached. They work with me to make sure that I have everything that I need. They also trust me because today I want to brag on Joanna a lot. <laughs> um, we just got through the WCTV Awards, the Clapper Awards. I had never been to this event. It's unbelievable. As a friend, I knew how hard you worked on it. And this is addictive. She makes this deliciousness. Joanna's Jersey Mix. Oh, it's addictive. <laughs> unbelievable. I I love it. It's so, an fam old family recipe. It's an old family recipe? Yes, it is. Okay, but so Marie, your mom, had this recipe before too? Before Marie. Oh, you're kidding. Yes, actually, yes. It's a secret coating that's baked into oh, it. So it it's is very addicting. So good. So this is a tradition. You work so hard. I mean, all of the awards, you put so much together. And I had a huge surprise because I literally um, am still meeting with clients throughout Northeast Ohio. So I was running a little late to come to the awards. And my husband was kind of nervous looking back, like, you know, like, you better get in the car. And I changed three times because I was kind of in an outfit that was maybe a little more, I didn't think I was going to be in pictures. I just thought I was going to go and say hi and meet everybody. And my husband's like, mm, you know, you may want to, and he never comments on what I wear. But I picked blue, which is our company color, and he was like, oh, that's perfect. And I noticed he was kind of ushering me to get in the car. And I thought, okay, what's going on? But literally, I go to this event, and I had no <laughs> idea. So can we roll that clip? Because I'm so honored with what happened that night. And now, one of the most highly coveted awards, the Host with the Most Award. The staff of WCTV selects this recipient based on the three Ps of being a host. Preparedness, presentation, and professionalism of their productions and the interviews they conduct. We would like to invite the 2018 host with the most award winner and host of the Awakening with Soul Spiration series, Tish Nidzwitki, to come up and present this year's award. I just drank this tea in my glasses. I'm really excited about this. All right. Class, style, and beauty, both inside and out. Describe this year's recipient, and that's the truth and not a lie. The series program she produces and hosts offer a wealth of resources and educates viewers on branding, business strategies, and unlocking their true potential or as she calls it, discovering your dawn. Oh, it's probably a miracle. You haven't figured out who the winner is yet. It's my pleasure to present the 2019 host with the most award to Welcome to our show. Boy, do I have an amazing gift for you today. Actually, two of them. I'm introducing you to designer and business extraordinaire. Together, they are building a fashion house called Maison du Anton. It's the designer for all. Everyone can come to this designer. As well, styling, shopping for you, alterations, and custom creations. Thank you. Well, I am so surprised. My husband kept a big secret. Boy, you kept it so cool. As soon as they said the first part, I looked at Joanna, I'm gonna kill you. This is so, such an honor. And I wanna tell you that, again, with John, Joanna, Drew, WCTV, 
Um, I built a company in 2003, and most of our clients aren't from Wadsworth, they're from across the country. And they call me and they say, I saw your show, how much did you pay to produce it? And I said, let me tell you about this town I'm from. And I'm so thankful that I'm from this beautiful, amazing town. Where's our mayor? I want to thank her too. This town, when I tell people about it, they have no idea about this place called beautiful Wadsworth, Ohio. I got here because of my husband and my famous mother-in-law, stand up, that is Sandra Miracle. Everyone knows my mother-in-law. Give her a round of applause. And I have an incredible neighbor in Joanna. And so I said, hey, I think I want to do a show. And again, people say to me all the time, what do you pay for this? And I said, I don't pay anything. And when I tell them about our town, I told them recently how we had 300 zombies walk up and down the street. And they said, where is this place? And I said, you have to come to Wadsworth, Ohio. WCTV, this town, I'm so blessed. Thank you so very much. Thank you. All right. This is just so fun to watch that video. Thanks, John. Joanne and I were talking while the video was going, and I honestly like was so surprised. And when they started talking, one of the things that I had just done is I had a bracelet. It was a pearl bracelet, and I, it's a, there's a B on it. It's for my mom, Betty. Mm -hmm. And we lost my mom in 2017. And I had just said to my mother-in-law, oh, here's this bracelet that you know my mom gave me. And then when Tish was talking, I thought she was talking about my mom. Like, literally, my mom was so classic and beautiful. And then they said, Mir or they said something like resources, and I was like, Oh my God, it's me. And so I looked at Joanna, I'm going to kill you. No, I did. <laughs> you can't see that on the video. I didn't want to look but at I you. I was so excited. Aww. I mean, it's the biggest honor. And as John said, when he talked about it, it's for preparedness, professionalism, and presentation. And again, these are all things that I learned here at WCTV and through my college at the University of Akron in the School of Communication and the School of Theater Arts. So I just come to this and want to say to each of you, this evening of the Clapper Awards, it, it was so beautifully done. I, again, I'd never been to this event before, but it's so professional. And when you do the screen and the names come up, it's just very Academy Awards. It's such a big deal. And I want you guys to know and why I want you to do a show. You will meet so many interesting people, people with different views than you have that do a show, um, people who are really young, people who are older, people in between. It is such inclusion in this community. It's amazing. So this is the award. I am, again, so honored. I don't even know how to say thank you because it's just, it's such a big deal. I'm just going to kind of hold this up a little bit. The host with the most, as I've read, is the most coveted award. And here I was just thinking I was going to, you know, enjoy and meet people and hang out. It was just such a surprise and so beautiful. So I've asked Joanna to talk more about helping you to bring your resources, your talent, your passion to WCTV. So as I mentioned, anyone that works or lives in Wadsworth can do a show. However, if you're not a Wadsworth person, you can still do a show. You just have to have someone in the community sponsor you. Really? It's nothing financial. There's okay. no nothing that has to be paid. There's just a piece of paper, a form. I will sponsor you. <laughs> that needs to be filled out okay. saying that they would like to see your program on WCTV. So someone in Wadsworth requests your sh program be shown on WCTV. And does a so sponsor, can you sponsor as many people as you want? You can. I and will we sponsor have several you. people. We have people from Canton, Maslin, you know, Cleveland that come and do their shows. And then someone in Wadsworth is just their sponsor. We invite the sponsor to come and be part of the production because that's really our goal here. We're public access. We're called a peg station. We're public access, government access, or I'm sorry, educational access and government access, peg, P-E-G. Great. So the public state uh, channel, that's where we want all the community members to come and speak their, their voice, give us their opinions. You know, it doesn't have to be... Uh, a hobby or something they're an expert on they can come in and give their opinion on something so it's really anything that you would like the community to hear that's why we're here so excellent and I do want to share with everyone before we move into our book club Joanna doesn't know I'm gonna ask her this is so fun these are great stories Joanna when someone does their program if they want to bring their dog like Fiona comes <laughs> you've had 
as a production person, didn't you have somebody burn like an alligator? Oh, or something? we've had what was crocodiles, that? horses. Crocodiles? We used to Jan Sponsler used to do a show called Animal Crackers, which now Dr. Markley, who's in Wadsworth, has mm -hmm. taken over. But we've had kangaroos, wallabies, <gasps> a horse. Um, oh my gosh! Crocodiles. I mean snakes. All huge right. Huge cockroaches. Ring. All <laughs> kinds of things. <laughs> Okay. You never know. So we've given we're a, open to all kinds. <laughs> we've given a lot of ideas. It may be a cooking show. It might be a political show. It might be a religious show. A, something that's important in your viewpoint that you want to talk about that you're bringing. And again, when Joanna mentioned you can work in Wadsworth um, and do a show, you can live in Wadsworth do a show. If you're outside of the area, we can sponsor you. I would be really interested in doing that. Then we talked about animals and what you can bring. Mm -hmm. So maybe someone is a fix-it person and they do a ton of YouTube videos. My suggestion to you as a marketer is, why wouldn't you do a higher level pro product um, here at WCTV with this amazing studio that you get for free? Let me just add too, we also have equipment that they can sign out. Oh, nice. So if you want to do something on location, again, we provide all the resources, all the training. So they come in, we teach them how to use the cameras, they can take them out on location, tape their things, bring them back to us and edit them. We'll teach them how to edit. Or many people have their own editing systems at home already. I mean, there's so many apps that you can edit on now. And then they just give us the final product to air. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. How fun. I think that you are amazing and oh, an angel. You. I honestly don't know how to thank you enough. I hope everyone gets to meet Joanna and the team here at WCTV because they are incredible. They believe in you. They support you. They help you. As I said, even though I've done a lot of speaking, I was pretty nervous, but I had to get out of my comfort zone. Some of you are watching this right now and saying, well, I won't look good on TV. That's not what matters. I did think that at first. I was like, oh gosh, how's that going to look? And then I realized when I got the comments back from the show and the comments were, Catherine, what your guest shared today helped me so much. Or Catherine, you shared something. Can I follow up with you? You're helping people. That's why you do a show. You do a show to give people something that they need and to help them. And that's quite an honor. It's Thank all, you so much. It's all about the message. That's right. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Catherine. You. Well, we're going to take a look at our book club right now because we are in the final phases of your strategic personal brand, The Blue Book. A lot of you have read Discovering Your Dawn, and I want to do a special mention. Um, a show called Shattered was produced. It's a series, and they um, did a show on my friends Dawn and Wendy, and I was really nervous about it. I was really concerned what it was going to be like, and I wrote to the producers because I'd submitted some pictures to help them. I said it was so tastefully done. It was really well done, and so Discovering Your Dawn seems to be getting a lot of hits, and people are asking questions about it. And I want to be out front with you. The book is not about Dawn and Wendy's death. It is about their life. Yes, their death is mentioned in the book and how we're going on to uh, memorialize them and live our lives in tribute to them. It's a tough read. It's definitely a tissue. Um, I wrote it to help my college students, and then it's gone beyond. I get veterans who write to me and say, wow, I read Discovering Your Dawn. It helps so much. And then I want to share that your strategic personal brand, how that's helping. We normally use it in training for our company, but so many people are communicating differently because they're looking for a job or they're in a new phase in their life or they want something different from their life. So that branding helps them. So I want to say to each one of you can always reach out to me. I'm pretty easy to find. Catherine Miracle and through WCTV. I want to thank you so much for being a part of it. And Joanna, thank you. You are an angel. Thank I you, love Catherine. you. You thank are a you. pleasure. Love you. Love you too. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for being here today.